current local time is 2 a.m. and we're starting this episode of Texas Red and Shine TV. Today should be a really fun, or should I say tonight, this middle of the Early morning. Early morning. Should be a really fun episode. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I haven't done it in so, 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 so long. And it should make for quite an awesome episode. But it is flounder gigging. We're going flounder gigging tonight, like while it's night. And then as the sun comes up, we're gonna be throwing top waters for trout. Cord might just be throwing a soft plastic, but really fun episode here, fishing and flounder gigging. Or as Flora, Cora, Flora. Wow. Wow. It's 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. guys, it's 2 a.m. But, or as Cora likes to call flounder it. Flounder jigging. Flounder jigging. She, Ow. wow, sorry. She legit thought that you get the spotlights on the flounder and then like you get your rod and you just like jig a lure in front of their faces to get them to eat it. That is what she thought flounder jigging was. She had no idea you stabbed them. So she's in for a real treat tonight. And so are you guys. I think this is gonna be a fun episode. I've wanted to do it for a while. So let's go to Bucky's, get some kolaches. Or it's liking that. And white monster. And let's go catch some flounder. I have never actually seen Bucky's this empty. It's definitely a little bit of an eerie feeling. But now we got gas, Cora's inside getting kolaches, and we'll be fueled up, ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah, a lot of mullet. Hey, I don't see him. Hang on, just stand still and see if it'll. I'm sorry. Got all of them, but how did you even see him? We have spotted our first flounder, but we just silted right over him. <laughs> Yeah, so we need to go, we need to go that way and work back. Yeah, we need to go up around to the point mark. Because as soon as we walked in here, as soon as we saw one. So there is one right here somewhere. Pretty sure he's a keeper too. Kind of one of those things where you can't be wrong. Um, I've done it enough. I've gotten really good at judging them. And typically I don't get small ones. <clears throat> right. Like even when you catch them, I don't keep them unless they're 16, 17 inches. Yeah, otherwise they're just a pain in the ass to... If it's worthless. I mean, you get you get flays off the back, but you really don't get flays off the belly. If they're and tiny, yeah. At that point, you're wasting. That's a good sign. We've walked about 10 yards and seen the first flounder. Alright. I don't think this is clear yeah, enough. No, it's a waste of our time. The worst part of um, about walking. Instead of being in the boat. There's one right there. There it is. Is that a little one? Uh, that is little. Yeah, he ain't very big. He ain't going anywhere. That's crazy. Super muddy. Oh, now we're not going to be able to there see he anything. Goes. He just swam off. Yep. Dang There's it. There's another one. That one's a keeper. That is a keeper. Are you sure? Positive. That's the same one, no? No, it's not. No, stab him right behind the eyes. Right behind the eyes. Get really close to him. Like this? Like, you get like right over his head. Show you on this first one. Right over his head. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got it. You got it, Drew? That's what I like to see. Oh my gosh. So you want to get as close to him as possible and without touching him, and when you go for it, go for it. Okay. Don't hesitate. Just all the way through him. Okay. <laughs> oh that was awesome, man. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah, he's not bad. Not a bad one right there. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. You gotta let him just 
flop and do their thing pretty much? Uh, typically I string them up on, while they're still in the dirt. Right. Well, Clark's on the board first, people. Oh my God. Core is next. All right. Core is next. Now you see how to do it. Yeah. Just get as close as you, as you can to them. Stop them. And commit, 100% commit when you do it. Okay. Sweet. We got a good we got a good teacher here. Alright. Yeah we do. Nah, he's like that's again like a sixteen, like you said. That's about the smallest as I'll do. We're gonna think about that. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Clark and I have been talking about doing this for quite a while. And we finally he called me what, probably five hours ago, six hours ago? About seven ish. Seven hours ago. And was like, You wanna do it? And <laughs> Cora was like, yes, let's do it. Let's go flounder jigging. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> what rods are we bringing? <laughs> That's funny. Behind the head. Behind the head. Right down behind, close to right him. Behind his eyeballs. Close, get close to him. There you go, just like that. Yeah, hit him hard. Oh, there you go. She's got him. Got him. Got him, coach. He actually might have domed him because he's not even flopping. That's perfect. You're holding this for just one second. Cora's first flounder gig. Can you hold this for you? Yeah. Good job, Cora. Oh my, God, my heart's racing. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is a I'm nice so size flounder, it, it, too. It's really a good one. That's a good size flounder. I let go. <laughs> or just completely let go. Do that, too. I don't know what to do. Stringering him before. You oh, take him out. Yeah. This is a good one, bro. That is a good wow. look at the size of this flounder. Oh yeah, that's a freaking nice one. Beauty. Dude. Good job, Cora. Oh, 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 oh. You're good, you're good, you're good. Come on, man. That's <laughs> all. That was so cool. Good job, Cora. Hell yeah. Alright, Drew, you're up. Yeah, yes. that was super exciting. Good job on the spot, too. I, I, yeah, that was me. I saw him first. You did. Good job, babe. We're about to step on him. Yep, <laughs> I was about to step on him. I was like, oh, there he is. That was cool. That's a lot easier than I... I don't know why I thought it would be difficult. Alright, for a post-gig post, post gig interview, mm -hmm. how, did, how did that feel? Really good. My heart's still racing. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Thanks, Clark. Absolutely. Bringing us out here to do this. This is freaking sweet. Now it's my turn. It's always fun to come out and have a good time. Yep. There is a stingray. Try not to gig those. <laughs> Unless you're looking for shark bait, I guess. Unless you're looking for shark bait, then it's not a bad idea. Get out of here, idiot. So remember when I said the wind direction was horrible? It's definitely horrible picked up a little bit also so it's blowing straight into the shoreline so it's bringing all that silt all that nastiness into the water back up here making it a lot harder to see and of course it's when I get the stick when it's my turn that we stop seeing flounder and the clarity goes bad so gave the stick back to Cora try to increase our luck here here flounder 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 here's a here's a little guy all right Little guy, but we don't think he's a keeper, but I'm gonna try to get an underwater shot for you guys. Should I try to pick him up? I was going to. <laughs> you can if you want to. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try to grab him. Hold that. <laughs> but you wanna get like right in here behind him? Uh-huh and get your hands on both sides of them and work them down underneath them in the sand and without then, touching him. And then try to the pick him up. without touching him. Once you get like you're underneath him, yeah. squeeze as hard as you possibly can. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he might be a keeper, don't but... No, don't let him go. Just, once you grab hold of him, grab him. And it, you don't have to be fast about it. You just got to, you know... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay. We finally saw Flounder. He was tiny, so I tried to pick him up with my hands. 
and he got off. <laughs> but that was pretty cool. I want to try to grab him again. Get up closer to his head. Up closer to his head, like yeah. in front of him? Yeah. Like right behind his eyes where you want the front of your hands to be. That way you can get that kind of triangle and neck him down so yeah. he has to swim through your hands yeah. which is already smaller than his body. Yeah, I gotcha. You pretty much want it. No, well, that didn't last. That didn't, didn't last. Oh, um, look, he chased did he jump? <laughs> all those mullet. Um, there's another bed, there's right, another there. bed right there. All right, we're in some good water for Pretty sure. Nice. Two fish and beds. They were small. I really want to try to pick one up. In my, there's another bed. Okay. Um, Got one. Yeah. Keeper. Um, or try to grab him. <laughs> let me try to grab him. Let me show you. All right, let's, let's see, see it. Let's Clark. see if I can do it. Oh, nope. Um, he just ran off. Arms are kind of spooky. <laughs> Oh, one day we will grab a flounder with our hands. Well, there's the spoils of the night. Mm. Only got two, but still fun. What do you say? Yeah. It's a good workout. Too. It is a good workout. Yeah, it is. Not too shabby. Right in the dome. Alrighty, so now the plan is to go catch some fish. I'm gonna be rolling a top water and I'm hoping to catch a couple fish. Just one fish. I'm thinking the top water bites should be okay. Let's get let's get a blow up. We should definitely get that. We should get at least a blow up. If we can keep grass off the hooks. That's true, the grass is blowing in. Again, not the right wind direction for this spot, but I mean, we'll see what we can do. Still been a lot of fun. Definitely gonna be buying a flounder light and a gig because that was a lot of fun. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna enjoy doing it a lot more. So that's definitely happening. But what do you say we get back to what we really know how to do? And that's fish. So let's go throw some top waters. Throwing a she dog, silver and black. And with this wind and this chop, if you see all this chop on the water, I like throwing a she dog. It gets a lot of rattle, it's very loud, and it'll attract those fish to it. You know, something like a Spook Junior might not have enough drawing power to bring those fish to it because they might not see it, they might not hear it. This she dog, one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite top waters to throw is because if you listen, that thing is loud. And it will bring those trout to it, or redfish. Ooh. That was a freaking giant. Holy shit, that was a giant. Oh my god, that was a... Dude, did you see that fish? I didn't see that. I heard it. Uh. Dude, that fish was upper 20s. Oh my God. Oh, my knees are shaking, dude. Dude, that was an upper 20s trout. He didn't, he missed it completely. Fish on. Good one? It might be a stingray. Great. Reel up. Like it's not, it's circling. It's shaking its. Well, it's gone. I'm okay with that. That might have been a stingray. I'm okay with that. Why didn't you at least get a look at it? It's made me nervous. Well, you, you gotta get it up and get the, get, at least get a look at it. Mm -hmm. She thinks it was a stingray. It was circling. It was, um, trout will do that. Big trout will do that. Redfish, that's like the biggest thing redfish do. I don't think you had a stingray. I don't think so either. You know, technically I didn't lose a big one. You lost a fish. We don't know what it was. My fish was never on. Oh my goodness, missed that one too. There he is.
Ah, ah. There we go. <laughs> Stop splashing me, buddy. Stop splashing me. All right. These yeah, hooked pretty good. Had both trebles in them. She dog. Oh, little guy. But we'll take him on the she dog on the top water. Definitely not the two that blew up earlier, but uh, it's always good to catch some fish. Let's get them released. See ya. Oh, he hit my leg. I felt him touch my leg. That was good. There he is. Saw him come up and pop. We both cast at him. I didn't even know where it was. I just cast it. Oh, you cast it towards where I cast it. Did it? Was it? Yeah. I just seen when you literally... Oh, fuck. oh, it's a flounder. I don't know. That definitely wasn't what popped. Yeah, that definitely wasn't what popped. He smoked it. What is that, plum? Oh, uh, red shad. Oh. What that? Appreciate that, flounder. Stop it. Man, beautiful. Very nice. That is a beautiful flounder. Where were you when we were gigging this morning? Pretty spot. Out here? <laughs> Out here deep, yeah. Releasing them? See you, buddy. Good one? Oh, yeah. Redfish? Probably. Yeah, it's gotta be a red. It's gotta be a red. <laughs> Shaking its head quite a bit. It's a nice fish, whatever it is. It was rip and drag. We might need your net. It's got to be a red, yeah. Look at it. Yeah, I know. Fight him. <laughs> The way it's circling, it's got to be a red. Or a just donkey, donkey, donkey trout. <laughs> That's true. That is a red fish. It's a good one. That's a keeper. Boom, baby. I was ready to go. <laughs> she was over it. <laughs> and that changes everything. It really does. It changes the whole demeanor of the whole. It absolutely does. Oh my god, look at that tag. Oh god, yeah, check the it. Hook, the hook comes out. Oh my god, I know. Check it for a tag, please. <laughs> Hold them up. Present, proudly present your redfish. Beautiful. I'm very proud of my redfish. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I mean, look. that's technically a Texas slam. Three spots on that side, two on that side, five spotter. Yeah. Nice. Are you want redfish? Yeah, you got you got He's what you pretty. wanted. He's pretty. He is a pretty one. He's pretty. He is a pretty one fish. Go on, bro. There he goes. Alright, Cora's winning. Why does she always do this? <laughs> so that's where we're gonna end. Cora finishes it off on a really nice redfish. Like she always does, she always has to show us up. She always Gets the big flounder when we're gigging and catches the biggest fish of the day. What do you have to say for yourself? That's she it? She looks a little drained. She does look drained. I'm ready to go it, back to bed. It's only 8.15 <laughs> in the morning. What the heck? It's only 8.15. We've only been up since 1.30. That's it. We've only been out here trudging through the water since 3 this morning. Very true. But big shout out to Clark again, bringing us out, showing us what this gigging's all about. I haven't done it in a really long time. He kind of taught us what we needed to know. Cora got her first really nice flounder gigging. Her first flounder in general gigging. She had she thought it was jigging earlier this morning, <laughs> and we were gonna Late go catch night. we were gonna go catch him on catch lures him. within the light jigging a lure in front of the face. But 
We had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Continue fishing content. Check out some other videos from the channel. I'll leave links around here, here and here maybe for some videos. So check them out and we'll see you guys next time.